As a natural scientist, doing social science can seem hard and bridging the two is even more challenging. Ecosystem services really live in that betwixt and between world where we talk about the structures and functions of the natural world, but then also the benefits that are derived by people. And so here we see a really interesting example of the types of challenges that we face when we try to do, um, when we try to equate certain things with others, or we try to quantify the benefits of different types of actions, of different management approaches um, and the like. So here we are in the Cairns waterfront, the shoreline. This used to be sandy beaches uh, 120 years or so ago. Um, active dredging for uh, the harbor and, and wharf complexes over there and, and related things and also out in the channel there you see the big giant cruise ship coming in um, uh, to, to port to the terminal. Um, that led to the sedimentation of this whole area, the, the smothering, the burying, the loss of these beaches. And these beaches became very sediment rich, silts, uh, fines, all that kind of stuff accumulated. And the mangroves uh, expanded. Where we are now, um, we, the, the last several decades have promoted a lot of tourism, etc. So we have what they know, what's called the Esplanade right here. And, uh, and so we've, we've, we've hardcore armored this part of the coast. So you can see this this uh, about three meter high, four meter high concrete wall. Um, you cannot directly get to the to the water line. There are access points at a, a few spots, but but by and large, there's not much. There's a little teeny sand spit up there. But we've lost the sandy beach and the recreational stuff. It's been replaced with, in this case, a, a public pool. It's open to all, free to all use. We have all kinds of commerce. Uh, uh, tourism, etc. Uh, big tall skyscrapers have gone in. We have, obviously, as we see right now, these big tour boats coming in, uh, cruise ships excuse me, coming in. So what is equal to what is a challenge? And ironically, on top of everything, we had mangroves that came in, but uh, nowadays what we see here are these little recruits that are popping in, uh, these, little, these little saplings that are coming in. These are now actively removed um, by folks here because they feel like they get the view. So what we value also changes over time in the context of ecosystem services. We like the beach and then the mangrove was good, gave us some protection and then we didn't like that and now we like open views. As climate change brings more and more storms, hurricanes do uh, and cyclones, typhoons do hit uh, these th this this area and so I suspect that when that next hurricane comes in, um, many of these businesses over here will wish that they had um, a, a more extensive biological road bump, speed bump to slow down the, uh, the winds and tidal surge, etc. There's also a huge problem with just day in and day out, sunny day uh, flooding with king tides. And so all of these things make equating um, a pool versus a beach a cruise terminal versus a um, banana plantation or, or tropical rainforest, etc. bird breeding colony, coral reef, it, it makes it uh, a challenge to figure out how to equate these things, how to measure these things, and how to make sure that as we go in the future, we have a more resilient coastline and we have everybody served, not just people and money interests, but the ecosystem and all folks and all cultures.